Our topic is validity of Coulomb's law or limitations of applying the Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law is applicable to the point charges. What is the meaning of the point charges? The size of the charge is very small. It is of the size of electron radius or its position in the space is a point. Now, what will happen if the size increases above the electron radius? If it is not a point charge, then what happens? Why Coulomb's law is not applicable? In that case, the molecular interaction of the material takes place. Because of this molecular interaction, other forces are also come into the play and that hinders the applicability of the Coulomb's law. Now, the second point of validity of Coulomb's law is that the charges, they should have spherical symmetric distribution. The next is charges must have spherical symmetric distribution. Along with that, one more point of validity is charges should not overlap. No, let us understand these two points. What is the meaning of spherical symmetric distribution? Means some center is there and around which the charges are equally distributed in a symmetric way. Charges, they should not be over one another. There should not be any overlapping. Now, these are the conditions. Only then the, uh, the Coulomb's law is valid. Now, what is there? What happens if it is not spherically symmetric distributed or if it overlaps? What is the limitation? Why it is not applicable? To understand this concept, we must know one of the very important property that electrostatic force or Coulomb law are the central forces. What is the meaning of central forces? They act on the line. joining the center of the two charges. So this is one of the very important property of electrostatic force that is governed by the Coulomb's law. Now, if it is not spherically, the charges are not spherically symmetrical distributed, then we won't be able to locate the center of the charges that can't be located if this condition is not there. And that is why there won't be the condition of central forces and this law won't be applicable if the center is not known for the charges. Again, charges should not overlap. The same uh, reason is for this also. If the charges, they overlap, then again, the center of the charges can't be located and we won't be able to apply the Coulomb's law over there. So this is the reason that to have the validity of Coulomb's law, there should be charges should have spherical symmetric distribution as well as they should not overlap. The next point of validity of Coulomb's law is that 
the charges must be at rest. The charges must be stationary. Only then we can apply the Coulomb's law. Now what is the reason behind this? Why we can't take the moving charges? If the charges are moving, that will constitute the moving charges will constitute the current and current is always associated with magnetic effect and force. So, what we see if they are not stationary then they are going to constitute the moving current and that will produce the magnetic field or the electromagnetic force will be there so because of the dominance of other forces here the coulomb's law can't be valid so it is limited for the stationary charges only 